Today, we are talking about sunshades. Now in the heat of the summer, we did a video on sunshades, none that we're looking at here, but we did some on the end. It was proven that they definitely work. The temperature difference on my head was vastly different. The day we did it, it was like 90 degrees. I'll link the video right here so you can check it out. And it made a big difference. So if we all accept they do work, which ones should you actually buy? And how do they store? How quick are they to get on and off? That's what makes one better than another. Now the neat thing is that Timmy makes these for the front windshield, the Model Y, the roof on the Model Y, as well as for the rear passenger windows. So if you have a baby sleeping back there or something, you can block it out and kind of give them some protection. It's not only about sun, it's also about privacy. So we're gonna take a look at how that works as well. Now, as you guys know, I don't have a Model Y yet, it's still on order. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my Model 3, you know, for the Model 3 stuff, and then we're gonna go over to my buddy's house on his Model Y, and we're gonna do some testing out there. Now, just like with any of my reviews that I do, I am not here to tell you if you should buy these or not, but more to just bring you the facts and what's going on with the products out there, so that when it's time for you to make a purchase like this, you can kind of use my video as a reference to see, is this product good or is it not good? How is the price for value? quality build, those kind of things are what we rate it by. Okay, first up, let's look at packaging. So Teamies comes in a circular zip pouch, very high quality, easy zipper, okay? That's Teamies. Toronto's one, also on Amazon, uh, is a pull tag kind of thing. So it's they're basically the same thing. They have small pouches and one zipper, one's pull string. If you care about pouches, I would give the win definitely to Teamy on this one. It's a much more silky, nicer material. This feels like this very cheap plastic. Next, we're gonna look at how well they pop out of their case. So it comes out, and then the question is, how easy is it to get out and then back in again? And by the way, none of these are easy. This is always an absolute pain in the butt. But let's see how this one pops out. You can see it. There, a little bit wobbly. Okay, this is the way it's gonna go onto the window right there. So this will come and reflect back on the car. It does have a spot up on the top here to put your mirror, your rear view mirror. So that's a nice feature, so it'll help hold it in place, as well as it'll keep all those sun rays out. So again, black on the outside, reflective on the inside, and it's got that same material that the bag was pretty much made out of, it's kind of just that loud, noisy plastic. So. Let's just see about getting it back into its form. Now, I'm, this is not a reflection on the company. This is just my in, incapability to make this stuff work. I, trying to make these things spin back into each other is, is ne screw that. All right, now let's look at Teamies here. Now these work for the Model 3, they have them for the Model Y. Just make sure that if you're looking to buy these, that you buy them for the right one. And when you pull this out, I mean, look at the difference in quality right off the bat. Okay, you can see the material there, that, that nice, shiny, silky material. And to give you a real nice close-up there, you can see this is the other material that you're used to seeing on most products online. All of them that I've reviewed have been like this. And then this is Teamies right here. Nice, kind of like silky material. It's really nice. All right, let's do this here. <sighs> Poof, that was nice. Let's take it opened up. All right, so very similar in terms of the Set up here, you've got the spot for the mirror right here as well, just like the other one, so that's nice. Hold, hold it in place. Now let's see if I can get this back into its form. I should have paid attention when I undid these, how they had this. Oh yeah, baby! Second try on that. And let's get it into the bag. Zip it up. Boom! Mic drop. All right, now obviously we're gonna go install these in a minute, but quality goes to Teamy. Texture definitely goes to Teamy. Foldability goes to Teamy, and I like their bag. Sorry, Teamy went in there, clearly, except we'll see how it installs and see which one holds tighter and all that. That's to come in a minute. Okay, in all fairness, now that I've figured it out, the Toronto one went in very easily as well. I just had to get used to the motion, and uh, that was actually not bad either. So, foldability, same as Teamy. Right, now, we're gonna move on to the sunroof. So the sunshade for the Model 3 and the Model Y. Right now we're gonna be talking about the Model Y. It's got that great big sunroof in there, and if you're on a really hot day, that's a lot of UV rays and heat that's blasting through that sunroof. And so these are very, very popular. 
and we're gonna see which one stacks up best to Team Eve. Now, I have a feeling that Team Eve's gonna carry on that same quality, but we're gonna be comparing this to Bassinor. Bassinor is a phenomenal company. They make really good products. I have never had anything negative to say. I've had their floor mats, other things in my car for years. And so, we're gonna see how their stands up to Team Eve's two top-of-the-line brands. So, first off, taking a look at the bag. The bag is great. It's got a great material. It's got a zipper, which I like way better, as you guys already know. And let's see what's in the box. Big, big, not box. Okay, first thing to point out here is that they have clips to help hold theirs on. Now, I have mixed feelings about these. The way that these clips work is that these clip onto the side of the sunscreen and then these kind of stick up right next to you know, the top of your window. There's like a gap up there. Next up, Bastinor includes one of these reflectors, like an extra layer uh, to go onto the sunscreen. So we'll have to look at that in a minute. And then inside of this thing here are little magnets that clip the two together magnetically. All right, let's get it out of the package and we'll try the getting in, getting it out test. So here it is, ready? Don't spring and kill me. Ugh. Oh, it wasn't so bad. And there it is. Then you do have the option to take this cover and you can see it's got a little band right here. It goes over top of it and you can clip that right to it there. Let's do the fold test of getting this back in here. Now this is banking off my experience I just had with the front windscreen. So let's see, or sunscreen. So let's see if I can get this. Just grab it by the sides and we're gonna twist. Oh, easy, first try, see that? I mean, I'm basically an expert. You know, Elon just came out and said he's gonna start that new university for technology. I should be an instructor at that new university for teaching people how to fold these. What do you guys think? There it is. I love that they put the name right here on it. I think that's a nice touch. Okay, basically the exact same kind of bag, got the zipper across the top, feels about the same. Okay, and they do have clips as well. So I think that the bottom line is that these things are too big and there's too much weight to not have some kind of support. So clips are a part of sunshades. I've never known of any that didn't have them. Um, so that's good to know. I have to point out though, team is already winning for presentation. I mean, they weren't just kind of all thrown in the bag. They got another little bag inside here. Just makes it feel like you bought a really high quality product. Got their name on it again. It's got the clips in a nice sealed plastic box. Very nice. And then also inside of here, you have that reflector as well to kind of shut it all off and make it so that it's black in there. But this one is a little different. This is again, this is a very silky material, uh, kind of like the ones we saw on the sunshade for the front. And then it's mounted, how is this one mounted on here? Whoo, man, it's like a bathrobe feeling thing. Oh, wow, well, so what were the other ones, the magnets had to be used on uh, separately. These are built right in, check that out. Hear that? So, huge point for Teamy right there. The least parts you have to keep track of, the better. That's why I love this company. All their products are like that. They just really think through everything, and they don't just race to get a product out. They don't care about being first, they just want theirs to be the best. Here we go. Boom. This feels very comparable to the Bassinor. Uh, the materials feel exactly the same. The quality feels the same. The spring in it feels the same. Stiffness, all that, just about the same. And when I feel the two together, I honestly cannot feel much difference in them. You can see a difference in them when you look at them, but they feel very comparable. So not enough difference to really give it a win either way on that, as I kind of suspected. All right, now the first one we're gonna do is the competitors. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna pop this thing out and get this set up in here. So it instantly takes up a huge space. <laughs> so be careful, I'll get you in the face. So first let's take this one and lay it right on top like this. Then just press it up around the mirror. So there it goes. But as you can see that there's a lot of gaps that come around here because there's, they put it flappy here and I don't know why they got it so loose, but it makes it a little bit interesting why there's not much room there. Something overall is fairly easy to install, but let's see if there's any difference with the Teamy one, if there's a little bit less gaps in here. Now, something I forgot to mention on the last set that applies to these as well, these are the Teamy ones now, is when you put them in, the way you hold these up that makes them so simple and easy, is you just take that and you just fold down the visors. Okay, and that's what holds those up there. Totally forgot about that. And what I love about that design is that then you don't have to worry about trying to fish it up and wedge it in somewhere. Remember, this is just trying to keep the majority of the sun out of your car. So they're, they really do, in my opinion, about the exact same. They have little gaps, but that's perfectly fine. They got this loose material here, and it's just a really great way to just keep some of that stuff off your dash. But this 
coming down and holding it up. That's what makes it so simple. Then when you're ready, you just pull it out like this, grab it, twist it up, and you're good to go. Put it in your trunk, put it wherever, and it fits nicely. All right, now for the big sunshade that goes on the top roof, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the back like this. So this is how they're supposed to do it. So let's see how easily this actually goes in here. So coming over the top like this. And then all we have to do is push it up top. And of course I put it in backwards. So at first I'm just resting it right there on top of each of the headrests. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here after and I'll push it up the rest of the way into the windows. Now the way these clips work here, we're gonna take just one of them, I'll just show you on it here, is, uh, you just take the edge like this, just put it on it, and then there's a big gap up here on the top, and it's just going to basically clip right on there. So you can see how the clips are. They just kind of mount right on the side of it, and then they just kind of stick right into the side of the little overlap. I recommend putting like one there, one there, and then two on each side, as well as two over here in the back. So I'm not gonna install this one from Bassnor in the car because I've already done it uh, on my channel before and I know it fits really well. Um, the biggest difference being that those clips on the Team one first of all, they got their own little pack. The second of all, they just, uh, they clip onto this a little bit nicer and so they don't fall off as much when you're trying to put it on. Because these things, I mean, they're a moving thing. They're kind of difficult to actually put on. Um, so anything you can do to help that is kind of a plus. All right, I'm switching over to high quality iPhone footage here, guys. Going back to the old school, the old days. But phones have gotten so good that I think we'll handle it. But check these out. So let's say you're in the back seat, you got kids back here, you want a little bit of privacy. Maybe you got a kid sleeping in a car seat, whatever. These little guys are really nice. Oh, like I said earlier back at the house, if you're maybe camping and you want to shut all the windows down, watch how easy this is. I guess you with one hand here, just put that there, pop that in, and just like that, it's secured. And you got them on both sides too. So whoa, this works actually extremely well, really easy to put in. All right, the last piece I'm gonna show you guys to complete the full set is this right here. This is the driver's side, and there's also one for the passenger side uh, window insert. And so these sun shades are super easy, just like the back ones we just looked at to look at. It's just a matter of you just taking them and you just popping it right in there. Much easier with two hands. I'm holding my phone with the other one here. And you can see that it seals it up really well um, on there. And again, very easy to get in. So. Let's recap what you have here with Timmy. You get the front window, right? The ones that you put down by just putting these there. You're gonna have these back here for the driver's side, uh, basically the front and uh, passenger and driver. Then you got the ones in the rear view seat. Then you got the one on top, right? So you've got all kinds of ways to make this place dark if you're gonna sleep inside of here or park it and you want no one to be able to peek inside whatever your reasoning is so complete set there with timmy now in terms of storage these things are designed to be able to just go like that and just fit right down in there like that lots of space and even the big top one fits right down in there see no problem. Now let's take a second and talk about the Model 3 sunscreens. I can't put them in my Model 3 because I got cameras mounted all over my roof, but let's take a look at these because they're pretty unique and there's something I've actually not seen before. So first of all, they're not black. That's the first thing you notice right away. They're actually really bright, which would go really well with my interior and the light interior color of the actual Model 3s. You get two different units, one for the front and one for the back. So it's kind of a nice complete set. They as well do have the clips that we talked about earlier. So you will have those in the set. And the way that these work is they actually come as a half shade or a half screen so that they're, you can actually see through them. But like you saw earlier, you do get that other piece you can attach onto it with those little magnets that come on it that will actually make it so it's a lot, you know, 100% blocking in other words. And that's the thing to point out was that the magnets were actually a part of that additional screen that makes it a full sunscreen. Whereas the other companies that we looked at, they were just loose in the bank and you had to kind of piece them on yourself. This will be a lot quicker and a lot more streamlined, which is what Timmy's kind of known for. And I'll also point out that all of their sunscreens are odorless. That's something that I get asked a lot about different products is what do they smell like? Well, something this size could very easily, you know, change the smell of your car. Well, there is no odor to these. That's kind of part of what they designed them for. Now, currently there is no side sun shades available, but they do have the little tiny triangular ones that they have for like kind of like the back window area. So you have the, the top covered, but then you have those little triangles back there covered as well. Right, now let's take a look at some of the specs on here. First, let's talk about the price because, well, that's what we all care about, you know, the price. So the Model 3 and Model Y front windshield sunshade is $29. 
The Model Y side windows sunshade, which is those four different pieces that you get for both sides of your Model Y, is $89. And the Model Y glass roof sunshade is $59. Now watch this. If you click on here, buy, and you can see this set of different stuff we have in here. If you go here to checkout and you enter code CF Tesla, you're gonna get a pretty nice discount. So in this order of $157, it goes down to $141. Plus your shipping, as long as it's over $25 in the United States or over $35 in Canada, is gonna be completely free. And get this, totally free returns. So not only do you get free shipping over 25 and 35, but you also get free returns. Man, it's like, it's like they're Amazon. So Timmy also has glass roof sun shades for the Model 3, and we, you saw those earlier. You could get them in this nice white color. It's kind of like an off-white color like we looked at. Those are super cool. Keep, just keeps it a little bit brighter inside of the car. That's an option for the Model 3. I'm not sure if that's coming to the Model Y yet or not, but they make amazing little uh, charging cables here that people just absolutely love, and they're only, you know, they're very, very inexpensive. You have the console trays, and they're pretty great trays, too. They go both in the front and in the back. You, they can actually buy them in a set, which is super nice. They just recently added the HEPA filters, which we're gonna be doing an install on really soon. So if you need some of those, definitely jump in there and get them. And then they have the probably most small, streamlined little hub that they actually have out there. And if you haven't seen that video already, uh, check my channel for it. Based on when you're watching this, it should already be out. But it's the only one I've ever ran across. It's actually made out of aluminum alloy. So it's actually like super nice to the touch. It's like cold. It's pretty awesome. Their phone holders, you guys love them. We've, we've had them on the channel multiple times. They're incredible. Simple one touch on, one touch off, and they can be moved anywhere on your dash. They're pretty incredible stuff. So if you haven't already, go to their website and check it out. All this information, including my discount, will be right down below this video in the description. So check those things out. And then let me know down in the comments which one you purchased. And uh, so I can thank you for using my code. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.